Hi, I'm Esther Herring Portier, and I am the fifth child of Ophelia Herring. And this is my husband, Tony. And um, our favorite story of uh, my mom <laughs> is when we were dating. And um, my mom said before she was getting ready to go to bed, she said, and at the time she uh, used to have renters in her house. She used to rent rooms in her house. And she said to Tony and I, when James comes home, I want to see him because he owed her rent. So she went to bed and Tony and I were watching TV and James comes home. But this time James <laughs> brings a girl, a woman with him. And they proceeded to say, uh, good, good evening. And they strolled to his bedroom. And Tony and I looked at each other and I said, I'm going to tell mama. And I ran up the stairs and I said, mama, James home and he brought a girl, a lady, and they in his bedroom. Well, my mom wore false teeth, so but her teeth were in the cup next to her bed. And she said, what? <laughs> and I kid you not, she grabbed her house coat and she ran down the stairs and her house coat, she was going so fast to her house coat, <laughs> her house coat was like a cape, like a cape on Batman. And she got to that room, she, now if anybody remembers the house on 2820 Berlin Avenue, none of the doors had locks. She burst in the room, she said, Ma'am, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't, I don't permit this kind of stuff. All my neighbors know I'm a sanctified woman. When men see me, they tip their head. She said, hey, but two men know me, and both of them in the grave. <laughs> and the lady says, well, you know, I told him. I didn't think you would probably approve of that. No, ma'am. I can't. I will not have that. Y'all got to go. And all of a sudden, she's beating on the table, and she's telling them off. And the guy is so embarrassed until, you know, they leave. But Tony and I were so laughing, so we were rolling on the floor, honey. She said, no man don't know me. Everybody see me, they know I'm a sanctified woman. And they tip their hat when they see me, because that's the life I live. And that is my very best memory of my mom, because that is truly how she lived. 